Have you ever heard of zero tier? It's kind of like a VPN, but much easier to configure and is meant to work like a very large Ethernet switch. It emulates layer 2 Ethernet with multipath, multicast, and bridging capabilities. It can even automatically assign IPv6 addresses. Zero tier creates secure networks between on premise, cloud, desktop, and mobile devices. What's even more cool, you can connect networks even if they're all behind private IP addresses. Because Zero Tier uses a technology called UDP hole punching, and all the connections will find their way, even in difficult network environments. It combines the capabilities of VPN and SD WAN, simplifying network management. For home users, it can give you the option to access your desktop, NAS, and other devices from anywhere, conveniently share files, data, and play LAN games, or grant personal systems access to users of choice. But it's also so much more. There are plenty of use cases for large companies to easily build large and secure networks with minimal effort and with simple access controls. If you have an ARM or ARM64 router OS device, you can set it up for zero tier in a few simple steps. Register on my.zerotier.com and create a network. I already have an account. Click on the Create a Network button, and all you need to do is obtain the network ID. In my case, the network ID is here. If you click on your new network, uh, here it is, the number. Now you must download and install Zerotier NPK package in Router OS. You can find it under the extra packages uh, in our download page. Upload the package on your device and reboot. Now you need to enable the standard official Zerotier instance. You can do that in the command line or in Winbox. Go to Zerotier, enable ZT1. Now add a new network specifying the network ID you created in the Zerotier Cloud Console. You can do that in the Zerotier interface menu. Add network, instance will be ZT1. That's the official instance that you have pre-installed in your router. Now you might need to allow connections from the Zerotier interface to your router and optionally to the other LAN interfaces, depending on what you will use it for. Use these two firewall commands to do that. Now you can install a zero-tier client on your smartphone, computer, or other router, then follow the zero-tier manual on how to connect to the same network from there. Now back to the zero-tier portal. If your access control is set to private, you must authorize nodes before they become members. Click on the checkbox to allow pending devices into the network. Scroll down until you see members, and in the members you can see my router here, uh, which is already authorized with the checkbox. And now my phone is also trying to connect. It shows last seen online, so it means it's already uh, attempting to connect, but it's not authorized yet. So what I must do is click on this checkbox. Now my phone is also part of the network. You should also specify routes to specific internal subnets in the Zero Tier Cloud Console to make sure you can access those networks when connecting from other devices. So for example, my NAS server is 192.168.88.3. The IP address my router got assigned in the Zero Tier Console is 172.30.234.119, as you can see right here. So I will therefore add a route in the Zero Tier Console in the routes section, right here, managed routes. And I will specify that my destination is 192.168.88.3 slash 32, which is a specific NAS server device. And I will say that it can be reached via the router's zero tier address, 172.30.234.119. So this will make sure that um, whenever a connection is uh, attempted to my NAS server, it will be routed through the router OS router that, uh, that I have here. And that's all. Now I can access my home NAS from my other device. Router OS implements zero tier functionality in the role of a node, where most of the network configuration must be done in the zero tier web page dashboard. However, in situations where you would prefer to do all the configuration on your own device, RouterOS offers to host your own controller too. Check out our documentation for more information about that and other more advanced settings. And thank you for watching.